Hey guys, I'm back. Today, I'm bringing you part two of the sketchbook tour. If you haven't seen the part one, go check it out, and I'll put a link to it in the description below. Let's get right into it. <laughs> So, starting where we left off, um, I think we stopped right about here, if I'm not wrong. Well, okay, so, here, uh, it's May 24th, so that's actually quite a while ago. Here I was inspired by Drawing with Waffles video, where she, where she was drawing animals, and I just, I really wanted to draw animals too, and I decided to draw zebras. I think these turned out really cute. I had a lot of fun, and I found out they're actually not that hard to draw. This is a random sketch page, I guess. It's filled with doodles of people. And here I went on a morning walk in my neighborhood, and I actually took a couple of leaves and I stuck them in here. I think I just put tape on them. And yeah, I drew the plants that were here the nature around me. I was planning to stick a piece of bark from a tree here, but then I realized that if I stuck it on, then the page behind it, I wouldn't be able to, well, it would be bumpy. So I decided not to, which was a smart call. And here, this is one of my OCs, Princess Mira. She is the princess, and obviously this is the queen, supposedly. I really need to change her design, but she was supposed to be the queen of the Illuminiverse. And yeah. This was created because I was taking out my my Tombow pens and I felt inspired by these colors up here. And I made them into this character here. You can see the process. At first I was thinking of doing a person sitting on a branch with an owl. But that didn't... I don't know. I guess it wasn't really right and came to this picture, which was interesting because I was interested by the star. Yeah, I can see it transforming into this final thing. And this is my beloved feet spread. It's filled with feet. I've made a hand spread before, and it's somewhere here. Ah, here. Here it is. My hand spread, and I wanted to do feet as well. <clears throat> well, actually, it also includes legs. Here, um, I was so excited, and I drew a bunch of feet, because sometimes I draw feet that look like dino feet. Dinosaur feet, I guess. Whoa, this one has two ankles. That's weird. Well, yeah, and I drew this sitting on the couch. Actually, it's right behind me, the couch, but yeah. I sat on it, and then I put the book on my lap, and I decided I, I wanted to put my actual foot on the sketch. And then I traced around it with my mechanical pencil and filled it in, which is this giant yellow blob. And this is actually a picture I'm very proud of. Oh, accidentally knock that over. Well, this is a picture of 13-year-old me. And I have my long legs. And here is Sharpie swatches. The Sharpie fine point. Oh, rainbow DNA. That's cool. Well, I had a lot of fun doing that swatch, and I wanted to do it again, so I did it with color pencils. These are the Faber-Castell classic colors, I think. I wrote down their numbers, so you could try that out as well. And here, this is actually the last day of May. It's May 31st. And I don't know why I decided to do the mermaid challenge on the last day of the month of mermaid. But I did it anyways. This is the apricot mermaid. I did this, I think, using watercolor, water, watercolor color pencils, watercolor pencils, yeah, and what happened to that? I have no idea what happened to that, but, um, yeah, this is the apricot mermaid. I really like the way I incorporated, incorporated, incorporated the apricot into this, and here is another OC. It's, um, a leaf fairy, inspired by the prompt word, grow. 
And yeah, so you can see the process of coming with this. This is pretty cool, I think. I just swatched all the greens and bluish colors that I had, and it became to this. Yeah. And this is another prompt word. This is blooming. In bloom, actually. Yeah, blooming. I don't know which one it is. But I drew uh, the process of a flower blooming. This is a bookmark that I made. I like making bookmarks for gifts, and sometimes I just make some for fun. This one says hope, H-O-P-E, hold on, pain ends. Same thing at the back, actually. But under here, there's, oh, inspired by Drawing with Waffles. Oh, this is Drawing with Waffles, the Sea Magna Girl. Oh, and... For some of you, maybe you don't know what I mean when I say OC. It stands for original character. But yeah, this was inspired by hers, Magna Girl. And this is Uncle Timon from Lion King. I tried to draw him without a reference, and it ended up looking like, um, I don't know, a cheetah? Yeah, a chibi cheetah. And this is what Uncle Timon actually looks like. This is some abstract inspired by Shada Campbell. Abstract art. This turned out really cool. Another one inspired by Shada Campbell. Sunset. I remember my brother asking me how I got the box to be so straight. I actually just put washi tape. But, oh, this is one thing that I really like to do. I like to do this often. This, well, actually I haven't done this recently, but I just take a random two colors or three colors or whatever. I just pick random stuff. Random art supplies that I happen to find, which in this case is pink and uh, brownish green marker accent highlighters. And it became this farmer girl character. This is on June 5. I was trying to draw daily, but sometimes it's a bit hard, but then I found out that it's actually good to just put a little something on a page, even if it isn't to your liking, as long as you do it every day, and it can help you improve your drawing. This is the tortoise spread. I think I might have shown this in one of my other YouTube videos, but this is my first tortoise that I drew without a reference. For me, I think he looks more like a Pokemon. Do you see it? Oh, um, these are, the rest of them are with references, and I like the way these two turned out. They look super cool, I think. They look like real tortoises. Yeah. I like this small one. <laughs> it's cute. Reminds me of my, it reminds me of the turtle that we have at home. This is the ballpoint pen spread. I was trying to sketch with ballpoint pens, and because you can probably tell, but I watch Drawing with Waffles a lot, and, um, she showed, she, in one of her videos, she mentioned that, um, when you use a highlighter or a marker or, I think she used Copics over the pen, it sort of smudged the pen to make it more smooth, and I think that looked really cool, so I tried it out, it didn't exactly work out, but, yeah, some of the marker ran out. <laughs> this is one of my favorite spreads right here. I remember drawing this outside, sitting on the balcony, and then I was so happy with the way this one looked. I thought she looked really cute, and I drew her again here. I was so scared to mess up the spread that I drew the full body one, because you can probably tell I wasn't very good at drawing full body sketches, and I still am not, if you see here. But I, so I tried to draw it on a different paper so that I wouldn't ruin this page because I liked it so much. But instead I ended up really liking this. I mean, look at this hand. I think it's just, I've never been able to draw another hand like that before. Like this one is meh. I always try to recreate this hand, but it never works out. So yeah, this is Larry, um, my brother's original character. He is pretty cute. This was June 2020, see by Sam. <laughs> and I tried to recreate Larry by drawing him in my own style here. I don't really have my own style, I just, I don't know. Maybe some people would say that I do, but I don't really see it. This is a mind barf page, which is when I just throw whatever is on my mind on the paper. 
and I drew myself, which I kind of like, but um, it's a bit different because I have, I don't actually have round glasses, I have rectangle glasses. Well, anyways. Um, oh, this is June 10, this is June 13. See, sometimes I just, I forget art block as well, and I get lazy in drawing every day. This is an ice cream inspired lady. To me, she looks like a Pokemon trainer. I don't know whether it's just me, but yeah. Some Smiggle mini marker swatches. I remember they kept drying out on me. Oh, yeah, here. I was trying to draw uh, my own character again. A princess character. I was trying to make my own. But the Smiggle markers kept running out. And as you can see, I really need to work on my full body poses. Drawings. Sketches. Yeah. I wrote it down here. <laughs> but this is another OC. A bear girl. Um, I had this idea for a very long time, but I never really put it down until this day. And um, I realized that lots of people actually have similar ideas to this, but I did it anyways, and I tried her with different colors, but I still think my favorite one is the first one. Oh, this is a drawing of my cousin. They are twins and they're seven. Yeah, and from this I learned that when I draw kids, I need to actually, they look more like kids when their mouths are open, their eyes are a bigger, instead of drawing lips, because that makes them look more like adults. And I forgot how to draw feet here, I think. These look like dinosaur feet. Oh, and this is my eggs and sausages breakfast pattern. The car just drove by. Oh, and a picture of my dog and a random girl. This is, I think I was trying to draw different hairs. It didn't exactly work out. But this is a school girl, I think. I was working on, I remember drawing her on a different paper, but then I redrew her here. And, ooh, I call this a vampire collar. <laughs> yeah, this, I call it a vampire collar because it looks like Dracula's collar. Oh, and this is, oh, this is actually the, the art, the digital art that I made for my YouTube channel. For this YouTube channel that I didn't actually use, but there's the donut flag. This was when I just started that idea of making a YouTube channel, which has now grown. This is the spread of my dog music. I was trying to find a cute way of drawing her, and oh, this one's so cute. Mm, yeah. Tons of her. I tried lots of times, as you can see, and they slowly got better and better. Some are slightly different, some are big, some are small. Oh yeah, and this is a pretty accurate drawing of me because, except I have, right now my hair is a bit shorter, but yeah, and I like putting, oh, this is the, this is the girl from before, where is it, here, yeah, see I drew her on a separate paper, oh yeah, ew, that's ugly, well, I like sticking things in my sketchbooks because I feel like that makes it more interesting. Oh, I remember drawing this. I remember I thought that this looks so much like, um, like the guy in, like, Player from Carmen San Diego, if it's a series on Netflix, eh, except he's missing his white hat. I don't know why. I just thought it looked a lot like him. And yeah, I tried to teach my mom how to draw heads, and uh, yeah, it's an improvement. <laughs> Another picture. Sometimes I just skip through this. And this is my doodle page. I just started with this scribbly line kind of thing, going across both pages. And then I just filled in the space. Whoa, 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 oh, oh, okay. Yep, okay, I'm back. Uh, I just accidentally knocked that over. Still a bit shaky, but I'm holding it now. So I think this is where I'm gonna stop for today because we still have a lot to go through and I think I'm out of time. Oh, I 
I'd just like to say thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed watching me go through my sketchbook, which is not yet finished. Oh, and I forgot to mention <laughs> this edge thing came off and I taped it back on. That's how much I bring my sketchbook everywhere. But yeah, thank you for watching so much. I hope you all are healthy and stay safe. God bless you. Oh, and donuts for life and don't worry. Bye!